А мы продолжаем наш сегодняшний турнир ММА Series на канале М1 Global TV. И в синий угол клетки я приглашаю бойца из города Пермь. Встречайте, Валерий Пузырев. This is MMA series Time of New Heroes from Minsk, Belarus. And here we go with fight number four. This is in the welterweight division and making his way to the blue corner, Valery Huzirev of Russia. Huzirev, 182 centimeters tall, 77 kilograms yesterday, and he's 22 years of age. His club is Ratty Bar from the city of Perm. Buzarev, already an experienced professional with a record of four wins and three losses. If you look at the record of Puzirev, he has a mixed losses, but his wins mainly come by submission, so look for this fighter maybe to be taking fight to the floor. Again, for those commenting at home, we love a debate, so tell us what you think. А в красном углу клетки этому бойцу противостоять будет боец из города Санкт-Петербург, команды Сечпро, Лев Килсон Тартенас. So his opponent making his way down to the red corner. Lev Killshot Tartanas of Russia. He's 180 centimeters tall, weighs 77.1 kilograms, and he's 25 years of age. Again, from the infamous SEC Pro team in St. Petersburg. Unbeaten record, one fight, one win. That was a TKO in round two, possibly with his kill shot. Interesting nickname. And kind of suggests that he likes the striking. So again, could we have kill shot looking to strike and Puzirev looking for submissions? As it sort of suggests on paper. This is bout number four in the welterweight division. Итак, мы начинаем четвертый бой этого вечера. Бой в полусредней весовой категории. И в синем угол клетки боец из города Пермь. Клуб Ратибор. Его рекорд 4 победы и 3 поражения. Встречайте, Валерий Пузырев. А в красном углу клетки ему будет оппонировать боец из города Санкт-Петербург. Команды Сеч Про по прозвищу Килшон. Его рекорд 1-0. Встречайте, Лев Тартенас! Рефери в клетке Вячеслав Киселев. Бойцы на середину. So this is about in the welterweight division. Blue corner, Пузирев. Red corner, Тартенас. An intense stare down here from our two welterweight fighters. Pozirev blue, Tartanus red. Suspected. Puzirev closes the distance looking for the takedown. Well defended and detached 
there from Tartanus. So as expected, taking the centre, looking to strike, it's Tartanus. Pussyrev will be looking to close down. I don't know whether that was a knockdown or a trip there, but Pussyrev wants this fight on the floor and he's going to try and keep it there. But Tartanus wants nothing to do with that and he stands back up. Looks stocky and powerful. The man known as Kill Shot. So Fusirev standing, looking to fire the strikes. He's got his hands up, but I think he really wants this fight on the floor. You can see the confident body language in the striking is coming from Tartanus. So a question from the viewers asking me what my kill shot was I actually came from a boxing background, a box for England, but my best finish was always with a triangle choke. So maybe not so much a shot, although I've got one knockout with a knee. So not what you'd expect from a boxer. Back to the action here, kill shot, control in the center. And again, Puzirev looks for the takedown. He goes for a double and he manages to get it this time and into side control. It's going to be important here now that he controls this side control, does not let Tartanus get back to his feet. Tartanus gets the knee in. Nice hip work here. Still can't seem to secure the pass, Pusirev. And he gets back to his feet. He's looking to pass standing, which is probably a good idea as long as he doesn't give room for Tartanus to stand up. He used to try to work past that left knee. He's using the strikes well to transition from the half guard to a pass. But there again, as I said, he left a little bit of room. And as soon as he does, Tartanus is back to his feet. Now he's got the back. Watch for powerful strikes here as he tries to set up a finish from the back. Tartanus, every single strike he throws is with bad intentions. Again, manages to loop underneath that left hook. That was great work there from Puzirev. He saw the left up coming, loaded up a little bit too much from Tartanus. He ducked underneath and got the takedown. I'd like to see Tartanus here try to maybe push off the fence. He's inside control underneath the fence, but he can use that to his advantage. At the moment, just pausing the action as knees fire into the side, firing into those ribs. Puzirev moves round to the other side. Still not managing to secure the pass. As Tartanus does a good job of curling up into a ball, but there we go, that's the pass. Now can he control this and look for a submission? As I said in the tail of the tape, he's got wins by submission. Firing the punches in there, try to soften up Tartanus. And again, that knee to the ribs. It might not look much when you see this on the television screen, but anyone who has been pinned in that position and needing the floating ribs, it's an awful shot. And there, that's the, bout of the boost off the cage I was looking for. Unfortunately, the result is, he's now in the middle of the cage, still stuck inside control. So again, working in those strikes to the side as the time runs out for that round. So again, for the viewers from Clash TV, we'd love to hear what you think of that round. 
as I say, I'm a commentator, not a judge. My opinion there probably would be from the control and the work, ducking underneath the punches, getting the takedown in the top position. I think Pusherev probably edged that round. But we did see, look there, the good low kick there from Tartanus. Drop to the back. The difference, I think, with Tartanus was he just could not pass the guard. He couldn't get control once it did get to the ground. Although we did see a position where he held the back. That was the beautiful duck under there. Ducked under, got the single leg and followed it up. And that's where he got the side control. And from there till the end of the round, it was complete control from Puzirev. So here we go, round number two of three rounds in this welterweight division. Fubu Sports Network and Clash TV. And this is Vali Puzirev in the blue versus Tartanus in the red. So the center of the cage taken again by Tartanus. Watch for Puzirev trying to time one of those power shots and go under. I think it would be sensible for Tartanus to actually work the kicks and maybe use a jab before he lines, throws those power shots. He needs to line them up. I think he's a little bit too head hungry. And again, there you see Puzirev ducks underneath the left hook. Tartan is having to think now. Again, he's leading with the left hook, but it's just a little bit too obvious. Puzirev backs off out of distance. It's okay having a kill shot, but you have to line it up. That one was a little bit closer. Puzirev, we think his tactic definitely will be to try to get underneath those shots. He wants a clinch, he wants a takedown. Certainly the superior fighter on the floor. As he dances around the outside, that one connected a little bit more solid. That's nice work mixing up the low kick, a jab. Jab, an underused weapon in MMA but very, very effective, and especially, as I said, for lining up the power shots there with some good counter shots. Puzirev can't afford to stay in the pocket. He can't stand in distance at all, because you can see the power of these big shots from Tartanus. Nicely ducks down to the body there. So this is not the round that Puzirev wants. After a dominant round on the floor, he does not want to turn this into a standing fight. He's definitely on the weaker end of the punches. <laughs> Trying to use a jab of his own there. But every time they land, you can feel the power. The tartanus, every single shot is solid. Look at that, and that was a big left hook. Puzirev goes to the floor. Tartanus sensibly stays stood up, and that's forced to take down. I think the sensible thing is good. He's looking for maybe a front headlock position, but I think the sensible thing here for Tartanus would be to push on the back of the neck and stand back up. And he drops himself down into guard. This is actually going to give Puzirev a chance to rest, a chance to recover. If I was in the corner now of Tartanus, I would be telling him to posture up, break that guard and stand back up, make him stand up. He was absolutely dominating the top, uh, the stand-up game there. And he's let himself go into a position now where Puzirev's going to recover in the full guard. So see there, the damage there from that shot. So this... For me, coming into the last round of this 
the, the, the last minute, sorry, of this second round. That's surely one round each, and it's going to leave a big decider for the third round. Puzirev dominated the first round, dominated the groundwork. But this second round, Tartan has, and he, this is the right thing. This is exactly what I would have told him to do. Get yourself stood back up and fire in those big shots. You see the damage there, the heavy breathing. He's taken a lot out of Puzirev this round. Look at the body language again, growing in confidence here, Tartanus. Looking for that big left hook. Certainly his favourite shot. Oh, that was a fast level change. He needed that takedown. But he's not managed to do anything with it. Can he turn? So there we finish round two. Completely different round to the first. The first round, Puzirev managing to duck underneath that left hook. And that just shows you the difference. When a big left hook like that lands, a solid shot like that lands, it can switch your brain so it slows down every single reaction you've got. And this is what seemed to happen in that round. Once Tartan has started to land those, as, as his nickname calls them, kill shots, and that was around the back of the head, but see how the balance went. And it was like Puzirev never really recovered his, his defences, his reactions, nothing was ever back to the, um, as good as the first round after that shot landed. So we see the doctor in there checking over the damage to Puzirev between rounds. The corner cleans him up. Sat on the floor, still deep breathing. This is going to make for a very, very interesting third round. On my card, definitely Puzirev round one, Tartanus round two. I'd love to know the thoughts of the guys watching at home on Clash TV if you agree with me, but this is going to make for a very good third round. So Tartan is trying to stop the clinch. He goes again, taken down quite easily there. Didn't defend the takedown, he's got to his back. This is where Puzirev needs to keep the fight. He cannot afford to make any space or give any opportunity here for Tartan to stand back up. So, great work, and if this was advice from his corner, they've told him exactly the right thing to do for this third round. So, after losing the second round quite big and taking quite a lot of shots, he's now back on top and in a good position. So, side control. What we saw from the first round is he's going to work, firing those knees into the body, try to weaken up Tartanus. side control on top Puzirev underneath Tartanus from the first two rounds we've seen Puzirev is the grappler of the two Tartanus the striker big heavy blows powerful and he's landed those shots in the second round but at the moment it's pure control from Puzirev So for those watching at home on Clash TV, give us your opinion. And those watching on Fubo, this is MMA series, Time of New Heroes. And this shows the character of a fighter here. Puzirev, after such a torrid second round, managing to switch it up, get the takedown and start to control. But I just would like to see some more work. I'd like to see him trying to look for a finish. I mean, the first round I did give to Puzirev, and I'd like to, again, hear opinions from guys at home watching on Clash TV, but that first round was close. It wasn't a pure Puzirev round, whereas the second round was tartanous all the way. So this is Fubo Sports Network and Clash TV, and is that the referee standing them back up? This could favour... Tartanus. Yes, now this is what Tartanus needs. He cannot afford now to give Puzirev the takedown. We're halfway through this round. That was a good, solid shot. Puzirev wants no part of the stand-up. Again. 
again, that big left hook from Tartus. That is his kill shot. He's looking for that weapon. Blood coming from the nose of Puzirev, who's won the first half of this round. This is going to be very, very tight on the scoring, especially if uh, Tartanus can start to work the strikes now and win the second half of this third round. Puzirev noticeably tired as he drops levels, tries to get the takedown. That's better for takedown defence. Pushing his hips to the floor there, Tartanus, looking to get round the back. That was well timed, the defence of that shot there. And this is good work, but he needs to put the icing on the cake. If Tartanus is to win this third round, he needs some solid shots in here now. He needs to do some damage to Puzirev, who controlled two and a half minutes of this round. They're big shots. One minute left in this round. Very, very even fight. Both guys noticeably tired. The pace has slowed. Dummy the left hook. Puzirev, is he looking to dummy before he drops levels? The takedown could seal it for him. Tartanus defends. He needs to push on the back of the head to stand up. He's got round the back. That was a big, solid left hook on the ground. He needs a big flurry of finishes. His corner needs to be shouting to him to work. This is so, so close. Eight seconds left. Tartanus on top. Puzirev on the bottom. Very, very close round after, I believe, a round each. And that is as tight as a fight can be. I think we're going to the judges' scorecards, and I'm certainly glad that I am not a judge. Again, I'd love to hear your opinions at home from the guys on Clash TV, Kubo Sports Network. This is MMA Series Time of New Heroes, and we'll wait for the official announcement. Итак, единогласное решение в суде. Победу одержал боец из красного угла клетки Лев Килшо Тарденас. Well, that was as close as a fight can be, and it edged there to Lev Killshot Tartanus, and that's from the strikes. Excellent uh, power shots 